All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the bus. Today, we're talking about wires and what to do with the mess of wires in your bus. Some of you watching this just like had a panic attack or threw up in your mouth a little bit with all these wires. It's really, it's really not all that bad. Um, and so this is all low voltage existing bus wires. So I'm just gonna show you what I've been doing with it and how I um, untangle this mess. So let's do it. This is the cleaned up version of my wires. And so when we were removing the roof, there was a bunch of lights run out throughout the bus and there was a bunch of speakers run throughout the bus. And most of those wires I just showed you that I cut were just the speaker wires and the light wires. Also there's um, wires that go to each of the doors and when they're open like there's a crazy buzz sound that happens and it won't let you turn on the engine. So um, what I did for that is I just traced all of them. They were all uh, bluish. The security wires were blue in my bus. I traced them all down, all the way along the top, down into this hole, and I found where they all connected, and I just, I just pulled the connection, and that made it so I could turn the bus on, and the sound stopped, and we're good to go. So I just won't be able to know if all my compartments are open and my doors are open while I'm driving, so I guess I'll just check before I start driving, like a normal person. Um, but yeah, so the safety feature is disabled. Um, and so I'll just show you kind of what I did for rerunning one of my wires, um, the pump for the coolant, which you guys might have seen. So here's my control panel with all my knobs and my switches, and some of these don't work anymore, like the driver's dome, that was the lights above the driver's passenger dome, those were the lights above all the chillins in the back, captain light, don't know what that is. Marker lights, I'm working on making those all work again. Um, but what I had was my pump, and I needed my pump to work. So on my deal, I found the tag that said pump, and I found this. And what I did is I opened my window, and then I went around to the control panel. All right, well, here's all the wires. This was the wire for the um, heaters in the back um, that I pulled, so I just left those plugged in. Um, does this all make sense? It's just, you know, wires. And this is the air pump that shot out the, um, what you call it, the stop sign. Right, so what I did to figure out uh, which wire was the pump wire is I went up through my window and I looked the pump one's like down low right here. So then I just went underneath. And I kind of found where the wire was sticking into. And that is, or that one is the pump wire right there. Well no, that one's not the pump wire. That one's the pump wire. So like this wire coming out of here is what's attached to the switch on the other side. So I just popped a new wire in there and then traced it all along and ran it through here. Then the wire came out here, and then I just ran it all the way back along, back to my pump. And so if you've got like a light that's not working on the outside or on the inside, um, what I did is I found my problem wire. This one is a running light on the outside, and I traced it. It says it's a B17. Traced it all the way along just to see if there's any breaks in it, and there weren't any breaks in it, and it plugged right in. Uh, the same place that there was working running lights um, up here and so I figured it must be the light bulb and so I changed the light bulb and it was the light bulb crazy so um, yeah it's just like a, a matter of tracing wires and hoping for the best this one is attached to nothing so I should cut that one or just pull it out um, but if you accidentally cut like a bad wire, you can just splice them back together. So it's not a huge deal. Um, but I kept all of these guys intact. Those are like my brake lights and my running lights and everything else that runs back into the engine. Um, but I don't know if this is helpful. It's really, you just have to get in there and start sorting stuff out. Uh, my 
my emergency lights on the front, uh, only the top left one was working. And so I just wire nutted all of these other ones together. So now all my front lights work on one switch. And I guess they must have been on different switches before. Um, but yeah, that's the lights. There was a ton of wires up here that were for the radio, which I don't have anymore, I don't need anymore, because we're just going to use like a wireless Bose speaker. Um, these are fan lights that I, or not fan lights, fan wires that I'm going to reattach later. Uh, but yeah, that's the wire mess situation. Just trace and splice and nut them back together and that's, and then you should be good to go. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, this is just a short, sweet one. I've got one about the framing coming up next week. So see you guys out there.